Venus is the second planet from the Sun, and is Earth's closest neighbor in the solar system. It is the brightest object in the night sky, and is often called as Earth's twin as it's similar to size to Earth. We can't see the surface of Venus from Earth because it's covered with thick clouds. However, space missions to Venus have shown us that its surface is covered with craters, volcanoes, mountains, and big lava plains. Venus is a far too hellish of a world for life to survive. A visit to the surface of Venus would be highly unpleasant. The temperatures on its surface are so high that even lead would melt. Besides, the atmosphere of Venus is very thick. You wouldn't be able to breathe and you'd be crushed by the enormous weight of its atmosphere. A day on Venus lasts for 243 Earth days, longer than a year. The average temperature on Venus's surface is about 467 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 92 times that on Earth's. It would be impossible to spend such a long time on the planet, even if you're equipped with a highly resistant spacesuit. The thick atmosphere would also not allow you to see the sun in the day sky and stars in the night sky. To make things worse, it would rain sulfuric acid on the planet, which is highly toxic and smells like rotten eggs. The gravity on the surface of Venus is 90% that of Earth's, meaning you wouldn't find it too difficult to walk or perform other activities on the planet. The sky on Venus would appear orange red. The surface of Venus hosts plenty of mountains, craters, and volcanoes. You might even observe lightning when it rains. To sum it up, exploring the surface of Venus would be interesting, but visiting the surface for a day would be the worst decision one could ever take. But don't lose hope. Up above the surface of the planet, about 50 kilometers high, the conditions are favorable and very similar to Earth's. Who knows, humans might someday live in these floating cloud cities above the surface of the planet. 